whatever you're trying to do in life, there's a behavior that needs to be designed. Hmm. Either you're designing it or someone else is designing it for you. And I think that's what, what Steve Jobs was able to see. He saw technology, but more than technology, he was a designer who could see the application of that technology. So basically, coach ka kya kaam hai ki wo aapko push karta hai, wo aapko inspire karta hai, wo aapko pat at the back deta hai jab har banda aapko kehta hai you're gonna fail. Mm. When you're at the top of your game, the question is how do you stay there and how do you become, wo ek kisi coach te bade zabas paat ki thi ki your biggest rival is yourself. Coaching in essence is asking you great questions. Hmm. is really listening into the conversation and feeling and thinking and seeing where Shayan isn't going. Now, many top CEOs, Pakistan mein nahin, they're getting coached, most of them are getting coached abro- abroad, but there are people who are entering this space more co- in a qualified fashion. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to another episode of How Does It Work, a podcast by Pro Pakistani. Uh, today we have Rahil Vakar with us. Uh, he is a uh, he is the founder of White Rice. पहली बात दूसरी बात he is a behavior designer. Yeah, something like that. अच्छा और तीसरा क्या leadership coach. अच्छा White Rice पे आते हैं in that journey of uh, advertising है और uh, White Rice exactly करता क्या है mm-hmm. behavior designer क्या होता है mm-hmm. वो क्या होता है So in very mm-hmm. simple words. Everything is functional around behaviors. If you look at it, in very simple words, adat, adat hai, hai? Mm-hmm. So whatever you do is a behavior. And a design, design, you design behaviors. So in the end of the day, whatever you're trying to do in life, there's a behavior that needs to be designed. Mm-hmm. Either you're designing it or someone else is designing it for you. Mm-hmm. So behavior designers basically, it's kind of faces the world. And what does it do? It does design karta hai, how to keep you on track. Mm-hmm keep you to nudge you to do something hopefully positive and to basically understand how you are making a decision behind anything then so, how can you influence my decision let's say ki main chain smoke karu hmm hmm behavior design kya ho sakta hai to get me to stop smoking right right so behavior design mein do teen cheezein samajhne ki zarurat hai ek hai aapki conscious aur unconscious biases right mm-hmm. there are decisions you make kis cheezon ka aapko ehsaas hota hai yaar main ye cheez soch raha hu in doing this behavior and kuch cheeze jo subconsciously aapko leke chal rahi hain jisme aapki environment aur context ka bada role hai so for example um, aap ye dekhein when are you triggered to smoke mm-hmm. so generally kya hoga dost do teen dost yaar aage ek smoker hai mm-hmm. wo nikalta hai there's a trigger there um aap ghar gaye and there are cues throughout the home where you smoke mm-hmm. or the timings when you smoke so ek cheez jo badi research mein aayi hai ki ji if you want to change smoking um, you know the, the habit you change your environment So you move out of the place where you've been smoking for most of your life theek mm. hai because there's a natural trigger jab aap ghar jayenge wo trigger on ho jayega your company the people you're around mm. trigger you to do that mm. so these are something some very subtle things well yaad hai ki university of texas mein austin mein they did a very interesting thing ki wahan jo smoking areas hain they're like miles away from the campus mm. so you had to do aapko na bada deliberate effort karke jana padta tha to smoke mm-hmm. to literally aap 10 10 minute drive karke ja rahe smoking karne and that again is a negative friction that you create between a behavior bilkul to agar aap bade simple alfaz mein dekhein there is a desired behavior a current aapka current behavior hai aur के दरमियान में देर आर पैथ्स देर आर सिंपल स्टेप्स दैट टेक यू टू दैट बिहेवियर आप उसमें फ्रिक्शन बढ़ा दें उस पैथ में तो वो बिहेवियर कम होता जाएगा और अगर आप फ्रिक्शन आसान उसकी मतलब यू रिमूव द फ्रिक्शन तो वो बिहेवियर फिर बहुत आसान हो जाता है टू टू डू इट और इस चीज़ को स्टडी कौन करता है मतलब फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप एक साइकोलॉजिस्ट ये पैटर्न स्टडी कर रहा है और ये ये स्टडीज अवेलेबल कहाँ पर होती हैं ये डिज़ाइन कौन कर रहा है right. सो ये एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग एरिया है एंड आई थिंक ओवर द लास्ट दस टेन 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 ईयर्स दिस इज़ रियली पिकड अप और बिहेवियर इकनॉमिक्स की एक फील्ड है विच इज़ रियली इमर्जिंग और फिर पीपल लाइक रिचर्ड थेलर जिन्होंने नज पे किताब लिखी दे वॉन्ट ए नोबल प्राइज फॉर इट दिस डैनियल काइनमैन जिसने थिंकिंग स्लो एंड फास्ट एंड स्लो लिखी अगेन ही इज सो दीज आर पीपल हु कम फ्राम आई दैन इकोनॉमिक्स बैकग्राउंड साइकोलॉजी एंड now there's a lot of prevalence ab to bahut log aapko milenge jo usme papers research so there's a lot of trials they do there's research studies that are done around these spaces jahan pe wo ab testing kar rahe hote hain random randomized control trials use kehte hain to jahan wo do teen study groups lenge unke sath ek 
एस्पेक्ट या एक एक सर्टन टाइप ऑफ इंटरवेंशन टेस्ट करेंगे दूसरे के साथ करेंगे तीसरे साथ करेंगे और फिर देखेंगे रिस्पॉन्स कैसे आते हैं बट हो क्या रहा है कि ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स इस बिकम वेरी पॉपुलर अच्छा इकनॉमिक्स को अगर आप देखें तो इकनॉमिक्स में एक है जो ड्राई इकनॉमिक्स है द टिपिकल टाइप ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स जिसको वो रैशनल मैन कहते हैं कि यार हम जो कुछ कहेंगे ना एक बंदे को इतनी समझ बूझ है कि उसको ये करना चाहिए बट बिहेवियर इकोनॉमिस्ट ये कहते हैं कि यार एक तरफ रैशनल है और एक तरफ इेशनल आदमी है एंड एटी परसेंट मोर टाइम्स यू आर डीलिंग विद एन इेशनल पर्सन बिल्कुल तो वो डैन अरिगली एक और फेमस बिहेवियर साइंटिस्ट है वो ये कहते हैं उसकी किताबें बड़ी जबरदस्त कॉल्ड प्रिडिक्टेबली इेशनल क्योंकि दैट्स हाउ ह्यूमन बींग्स आर वो कॉन्स्टेंटली बींग ट्रिगर्ड बाई द इन्वायरमेंट एंड दैट इन्वायरमेंट टेक्स ओवर आर डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर सो अब ये चीज़ें बहुत यू नो इफ यू सर्च बिहेवियर इकनॉमिक्स बिहेवियर साइंस बिहेवियर साइकोलॉजी तो अब ये फील्ड्स हैं जो जहाँ पर बहुत डिलिबरेट काम हो रहा है देर आर कम्प्लीट यूनिट्स एक बिहेवियर इंसाइट यूनिट है इन द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट जिनका काम ही है कि दे डिज़ाइन इंटरवेंश लाइक दीज फॉर पॉलिसीज फॉर टैक्सीशन फॉर कैरिंग पीपल टू पे मोर टैक्सेज तो आप इसकी इम्प्लीकेशन देखें तो पब्लिक लेवल पर भी बहुत है पब्लिक पॉलिसी एंड देन कॉरपोरेट लेवल पर भी है इंडिविजुअल लेवल पर है सोसाइटीज़ के लेवल पर है सो इट्स रियली रियली टेकिंग ऑफ बिकॉज एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे a lot of our influences our decisions are default decisions theek hmm. hai so this way i just want to bring in this this very interesting theory about uh, daniel kahneman ki it's he talks about two types of brains ek hai system 1 ek hai system 2 hmm. and according to his theory 95% of decisions we make on a day are default decisions theek hmm. hai are I basically that. things yeah. that we just doing we're not thinking about them और टू टू फाइव परसेंट डिसीजन हुए हैं जिसके अंदर हम सिस्टम टू जिसे कहते हैं जिसमें हम सोचते हैं हम रुकते हैं हम कहते हैं यार कि क्या करना है अच्छा अब ये बाय डिज़ाइन है अल्लाह ताला ने बनाया इस तरह है क्योंकि अगर आप सोचें एवरी डे यू गेट अप इन यूर थिंकिंग मैंने क्या कपड़े पहनने हैं तो दो घंटे तो इसी में लग जाएंगे अगर आप सिस्टम टू के थ्रू जाएंगे लेकिन होते हैं लोग ऐसे जिस तरह आई रेड अबाउट समथिंग कॉल्ड डिसीजन फिटीक या कि आप अगर बहुत ज़्यादा छोटी डिसीजन ले रहे होते हैं तो फिर जब एक बड़ी वाली डिसीजन आती है तो आई स्ट्रगल बिकॉज मेरे माइंड ने अब एक दिन में स्ट्रेस लिया है कि कपड़े क्या पहनने हैं खाना क्या खाना है या वट एवर यू नो बाल किस तरह बनानी है सो आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन इन एन आई कम टू हाउ इट इम्पैक्ट योर पर्टिकुलर वर्क फॉर द ली मैन वाई इज बिहेवियरल इकोनॉमिक समथिंग दैट दे शुड अंडरस्टैंड वाई इज इट समथिंग दैट मैटर्स टू मी एज जस्ट अ पर्सन एज अ रैंडम पर्सन वाई डज मैटर राइट आई थिंक ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट सवाल है बिकॉज आप देखिए एक ज़माने में ना बॉडी लैंग्वेज पे बहुत बात होती थी कि यार आप लोगों से बात करें बट जो लोग समटाइम्स पीपल आर सेइंग थिंग्स नॉन वर्बली जो बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है विच इज समाइम्स इवन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कि वो कहा गया गया है hmm. इसी तरह बिहेवियर इकोनॉमिक्स जो है ना वो डिसीजन के बारे में आपको समझाती है कि अगला बंदा डिसीजन ले कैसे रहा है ठीक hmm. है अगर मैं ये समझूँ कि यार एक बंदा अगर मुझे ये पता हो कि यार इसके ये बायसेज हैं या इस चीज़ के बारे में उसकी ये बायसेस हो सकते हैं तो मैं अपनी कॉन्वर्सेशन में उस बायस को एड्रेस कर सकता हूँ ठीक है बेहतर तरीके से ताकि मेरी कॉन्वर्सेशन लैंड्स बेटर विद द अदर पर्सन एंड एट द सेम टाइम आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड देयर व्यू पॉइंट सो इफ दे आर कमिंग इन विद ए पर्टिकुलर व्यू पॉइंट तो मुझे पहले ही पता हो कि मैंने उस व्यू पॉइंट को कैसे एड्रेस करना है एंड आई डोंट गेट कॉन्फर्टेशनल अबाउट इट बट मैं कह सकता हूँ यार बिकॉज इस बंदे का ये बैकग्राउंड है ये इन्फ्लुंस उसको हो सकते हैं तो मुझे अपनी बेहतर उसको ऑप्शन प्रजेंट करने में आई हैव मोर वेराइटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हैविंग दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन सो आई थिंक एंड यू नो इवन इलॉन मस्ट ने एक दफ़ा एक ट्वीट की थी कि देर आर ट्वेंटी कॉग्नेटिव बायसेज दैट एवरी चाइल्ड शुड नो अबाउट ठीक है बिकॉज दोज बायसेज इन्फ्लुएंस आर डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस विदाउट इवन अस रियलाइजिंग दैट कोई एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं कॉग्नेटिव बायस के सो सो देखिए एक बड़ा सिंपल है उसको कहते हैं कॉन्फर्मेशन बायस और कॉन्फर्मेशन बायस ये है कि मैं अगर एक व्यू पॉइंट में बिलीव करता हूँ तो मैं उसको वैलिडेट करने के लिए उसी तरह की लोगों की बातों को सोचूंगा और ढूंढूंगा बिल्कुल अब आप देखें कि लुक एट दी यू एस इलेक्शन यू एस इलेक्शन में जब डोनल्ड ट्रंप का टाइम था एंड वो जो कैमरे जनरेटर की पूरी स्टोरी हुई वट डिज डू दे प्लेड ऑन कॉन्फर्मेशन बायस अब ऑन एवरेज फेसबुक कहते हैं मेरे पास 26,000 डेटा पॉइंट्स हैं एक बंदे पे उन्होंने कोई 100 200 डेटा पॉइंट्स पकड़े और उन्होंने कहा यार जो बंदा ये नैरेटिव सुनना चाहता है सोशल मीडिया को उन्होंने उसी तरह का कंटेंट उसको फीड किया ठीक है 
And it did influence the elections. You cannot deny that. Of course, uh, he won. If, if you look at it, yeah. then he won. So point is that confirmation, what did they do? If they polarized a certain type of thinking, they showed the same thinking to him every time, and they affirmed the same type of content, the same type of belief. And that is why, unfortunately, you can see that in our country, there's, there's this extre- extremism ki baat karte in terms of and polarization ki baat karte in terms of point of views. There's a certain type of people who believe in a certain type of par- party, certain type of systems, and we're getting more polarized because that we only want to listen to that type of لیکن آپ کو یہ نہیں لگتا کہ دنیا ایسی ہو رہی ہے دنیا بھی ہو رہی ہے اٹ از اٹ از اٹ از ٹرو بالکل ایوری بٹ یو نو میں کسی سے یہ آرگیو کر رہا تھا کہ یو نو لوگ کہتے ہیں یار اصل میں سوشل میڈیا کی وجہ سے ہو رہا ہے مس انفارمیشن کی وجہ سے ہو رہا ہے از اٹ جسٹ ناٹ آلویز بین مین کائنڈ لائک وی آلویز بین دس وے مطلب ہم پولرائز مطلب آپ مجھے بتائیں کروسیڈ سے لے کے پتنی کیو مین تک کون سا وہ وقت تھا جب ہم ایک سب پیج پہ تھے ان فیکٹ اف یو historically look at it this is the biggest piece uh, of some sorts we've had ever uh, mm, mm. this is the most on one page we've it been is, ever is. and obviously right. we're still not very mm. uh, unanimous in in most of our thought process but taking it now to to behavioral change as white rice or as you as an individual aapne pakistan mein behavioral change pe kaam kiya hai right right bilkul bilkul acha and can you give us some examples of things you did um, that you know actually saw results uh, sure sure so so thoda sa main apne kaam ke bare mein aapko samjhata hu and um, so we started back those are che mein we started our company and at that time we were a design company communication company that was very focused on um, on on design for change theek hai so back in 2006 us waqt naya naya um you know the internet had had come into pakistan back early early 2000s mein and but you start seeing a shift in terms of communication I'm, so i'm talking about a time when people had moved from print media to digital to digital and digital yeah. was still very or ab advertising mein kaam karte the us time so usse pehle i had another startup which was more of an animation and film company Achha. and we used to do a lot of um, of creative work for for the masses so matlab production house ki production house ki tarah bilkul bilkul like a production house so we had private clients and accidentally we came across development clients so hum kuch ek zamane mein do teen ngos ke sath humne kaam kiya and i felt ki ek need hai jahan pe creative minds need to come and look at social challenges from a different perspective mm-hmm. and us waqt you know um, everyone's dream job wasn't working in the development world wasn't mm-hmm. working for un organizations ya international ngos ke especially saath. advertising advertising right? ke andar bilkul uh-huh. bilkul and wo abhi tak mujhe yaad hai when we used to hire people to look at the yaar hamara ad ki dikhega mm-hmm. jo cheeze hum banayenge ki dikhega ke nahi dikhenge but maybe millions of people actually get change influence. because of the influence because of the work you do so wo wo time tha when we started out and we were when you say we uh, so so we me me and my partner uh, i had a business partner um uh, he was he was a dean of my university um he was a person who actually pushed me to go if you really want to learn business you have to go out and learn it and do it Achha. and those sarbad ended up starting a company and then a few years later i called him up here you said do it and now i'm stuck tell me what to do <laughs> and that's where we came back how old were you at this time So I was 21 when I started my first company which was White Rice Start 21 the university ne ki so university gaya um saal baad I realized ke uh, it's a waste of time and uh, it's not going to get Kaun me si anywhere university so mera uh, I've, i had a you kya kehte hain roller coaster ride with uh, academics so mai us waqt tha ek Thames Business School ke naam se yahan pe shuru hua and unki basically was an affiliation with University of Southern Queensland Australia Achha. so i did end up getting a bachelor's degree in business mm-hmm. but it was an online distance learning degree so mere so, so the degree that i got was there but that allowed me to delve into the entrepreneurial journey mm-hmm. and take time off but then continue my education online or sath sath maine apna kaam karna shuru kar diya what i also realized was that i wasn't really good academically to maine ye zarur dekha ki yaar to survive and to thrive, uh, thrive eventually i need to take a shortcut and i need to get into the real world mm-hmm. and learn on the go and i think that's been my life as well because ma'am i've been very curious and i've been whatever i need to learn i learn it on the go hmm. so i'm not someone who will go into the classroom waste you know a semester learning something i'll say if i need to learn this this is what needs to happen lekin aapki particular industry jo hai is a lot of theoretical knowledge right. as well as practical right. knowledge right so right. matlab ek advertising mein to bahut common hai jisra uh, hamari bhi agency is very common for a lot of people jo degree nahi karte hmm. aur ko, but then they do more um, artsy yeah, uh, yeah, stuff right yeah, this yeah, seems yeah. more science 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 right, type right, stuff right, 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 right. and to usme fir without a practical uh, sorry without a theoretical knowledge yeah, uh, mushkil yeah. nahi hota hota hai yaar um, but i i feel that there's this this the, there are two islands ek mm-hmm. hai wo academic ka island 
जहाँ पे वो आर सी टीज करते रहेंगे रैंडम कंट्रोल यू नो दिल डू अलॉट ऑफ रिसर्च बेस्ड वर्क एंड देन यू नो देर वर्क डजेंट सी द डे यू नो द लाइट ऑफ द डे और एक तरफ वो लोग हैं जो प्रैक्टिशनर्स हैं यू नो पीपल लाइक अस जो चीज़ लेंगे सीखेंगे अप्लाई करेंगे विल मेक मिस्टेक्स एंड लर्न एंड मूव ऑन एंड आई बिलीव इन दिस फेल फॉरवर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग कि यार आप एक आइडिया लें पढ़ें देखें उसको यूजर के साथ टेस्ट करें एंड कीप आई ट्रेटिंग टिल यू गेट इट राइट एंड द सक्सेस चांसेस इंक्रीज देयर बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग इट इन द रियल इन्वायरमेंट इट्स लाइक टेस्टिंग समथिंग इन अ लैब वर्सेज टेस्टिंग इन आउट देयर बट वट्स इंटरेस्टिंग इज दैट आई थिंक द पॉइंट कमिंग बिफोर बिहेवियर चेंज इज दैट we started out humne design for change ki baat ki we used to do, develop a lot of animation based work film humne mm-hmm. unhi cheezon se start kiya but very impact driven but we realized ki yaar hum bahut acche content create karte hain bahut acche products create karte hain but at the end of the day wo scale nahi pick up karte mm-hmm. wo jo influence hum create karna cha rahe hain because aakhir mein jin issues pe hum kaam kar rahe hain there are health education wo women rural rights wo rural are. pakistan se hain aur wahan pe bahut bada uh, har con- har area ka context different hai mm-hmm. main kehta hu ki jis tarah hum kehte hain content is the king meri nazar mein context is the king बिकॉज कॉन्टेक्स कैन मेक और ब्रेक योर आइडिया बिल्कुल कॉन्टेंट जो है वो पीछे रह जाता है अगर वो कॉन्टेक्सली रेलिवेंट नहीं है एंड जस्ट टू बिकॉज वी वर सो पैश अबाउट क्रिएटिंग चेंज कि हम हम कहते यार अच्छा ये मॉडल काम नहीं कर रहा लेट्स ट्राई समथिंग एल्स लेट्स और मुझे अभी तक याद है दो हज़ार दस में वी ब्रॉट इन वी वी आर अपलाइंग डिजाइन थिंकिंग बट एट दैट टाइम दो हज़ार नौ दस में आई स्टार्ट इज सींग यार डिजाइन थिंकिंग इज एक्चुअली द लैंग्वेज ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग विथ people with making it more human centered and we start bringing that in the work we did but then again wo ek na ek wo tashnagi reh jati thi ki yaar ye phir bhi things are really not creating the impact we want to see and those are char panch mein what how do you calculate impact sorry mai aapki baat kar raha hu right 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 so that's a very good question i think one big thing is that kyunki we're doing it with the communities real time mm. so what typically what we do is that whenever we design an intervention an intervention would basically mean ki hum research karte hain uske baad hum ek puri schema banate hain around a strategy around how we need to communicate with the community who's our target audience what are our touch points when do we interact with them how frequently do we interact with them and once that entire program is designed we then deploy it and deploy ka matlab ye hai ki bahut sara kaam hamara frontline workers hote hain you know there are people on the on the ground um jis tar polio workers hain lady health workers hain jinko phir unki basically we upgrade their software their ability mm-hmm. to communicate with people and they take out the message and more and, and, and engage with with the audience generally we run pilots so hum apne programs mein kya karenge ki hum 90 day ka ek pilot run karenge mm-hmm. and we will test our assumptions ki yaar jo cheez humne sochi jis tarah se sochi how are people reacting to it and then we tweak it we tweak it every day every week it's tweaking 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 so but by the end of 3 months we have designed a program that is more aligned with the communities more in line with the feedback that we've received and then we take it to scale and then those and then we measured it back so let me give you a, a real example taki ye sari cheeze samajh aaye so hum uh, back in 2014 15 in mein child stunting acha child stunting kya hai ji ke jo bachchon ki growth hai till the age of 2 matlab height wagera uh, physical mental dono cheeze acha um there's a particular growth trajectory jis pe bachcha grow kar raha hota hai aur usko hum na in our language we call it the first 1000 days so 9 months during the child is in the mother's womb to the first two day two years a child is growing at an exponential rate mm-hmm. and so a lot of people don't know this uh, that 80 to 90% jo bacche ka brain hai grows by the age of 2 acha ji uske baad 10% increment uske growth hoti hai till his entire life acha theek hai so jo kaam uska hona hai mm-hmm. has to happen before the age of 2 uske baad you are looking at a stunted child अच्छा वो बच्चा बाजार फिजिकली बड़ा एबल आपको नजर आएगा लेकिन उसकी ब्रेन डेवलपमेंट उस तरह से कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट नहीं हुई जिस तरह किसी और बच्चे की आम हुई है और मतलब फर्क क्या होता है दोनों में फर्क अच्छा फर्क बाजार तो ठीक है लेकिन फर्क प्राइमरीली हो कहा रहा है कि उसकी न्यूट्रिशन उसकी डाइट उसको जो खाना पीना मिलना चाहिए होता क्या है कि जब बच्चा पैदा होता है द फर्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स दे शुड जस्ट हैव द मदर्स मिल्क फॉर एग्जांपल और अगर ना पिए ना पिए तो क्या होता है कि देर देर आर न्यूट्रिशन वैल्यूज जो उसकी ग्रोथ होनी चाहिए वो होती नहीं है बिकॉज उसको अक्सर गांव में क्या हो रहा होता है कि दे आर गिविंग सप्लीमेंटेड फूड वो पानी पिला रहे हैं बिस्किट खिला रहे हैं दे डूइंग थिंग्स लाइक दैट जो उसकी ब्रेन और उसकी कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट को और फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट दोनों हैम्पर कर रही है अच्छा और फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट में क्या होता है कि जो उसकी मसल बोन स्ट्रेंथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल होनी चाहिए या उसकी हाइट है या उसका सर्टन वेट है 
वो कम रह जाता है ओवर ओवर टाइम सो वट यूर सींग इज दैट इन 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 वी हैव यू नो मजे की बात यह है कि ना मजे की बात तो नहीं है वैसे इट्स इट्स ट्रेजडी दैट पाकिस्तान में तकरीबन फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फोर्टी फोर परसेंट बच्चे आर स्टंटेड एंड द स्टंटिंग कैन गो फ्राम एक बच्चा जो बिल्कुल एवरेज है और एक बच्चा जो बिल्कुल जिस तरह मैं थोपिया और सोमालिया की पिक्चर्स देखते हैं उस लेवल के ऊपर है ठीक है सो यू रियली सेंग कि एक बच्चा ऑलरेडी डिसएडवाटेज पे है उसने रेस में भागना है और वो भाग नहीं सकता सो so, हमारा टास्क क्या था कि वी वर गिवन अ कम्यूनिटी इन सिंध तकरीबन 100,000 मदर्स जिनके साथ 26,000 मदर्स का हमने आना डायरेक्ट काम था एंड हमने एक इंटरवेंशन डिज़ाइन करनी थी ओवर थ्री मंथ्स जिसके अंदर वी वुड इंगेज विद दीज मदर्स फॉर देम टू इंक्रीज एंड एंड क्रिएट द हैबिट्स अराउंड गुड न्यूट्रिशन फॉर दर चिल्ड्रन ठीक है एंड न्यूट्रिशन इज़ वन एस्पेक्ट दूसरा उसका हाइजीन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है mm. अगर आप देखें तो अक्सर बच्चे जो बीमार होते हैं वो बैड हाइजीन बैड वाटर उन कंडीशन की वजह से एंड दैट अगेन इज कॉजिंग प्रॉब्लम्स देखें एक बच्चा जो पहले दो साल बहुत ज़्यादा बीमार रहता है वर्सेज एक बच्चा जो कम बीमार होता है उसकी ग्रोथ तो उसकी ग्रोथ में दोनों चीज़ों में फ़र्क आ रहा होता है सो आर प्रोग्राम वॉज रियली फोकस्ड ऑन लुकिंग एट दिस बिहेवियर्स लुकिंग एट हाउ डू वी इंगेज मदर्स एन एनी इन्फ्लुंस अराउंड दैम ठीक है मदर इन लॉ का रोल फादर इन लॉ का रोल हजबेंड का रोल सो इट्स एंड आई डोट वॉन्ट गो इन टू लॉन्ग स्टोरी बट वी क्रिएटेड मदर क्लब्स जिसके अंदर हमारी कॉन्वर्सेशन होती थी हमारी डे डे वीकली विजिट्स होते थे विद दीज मदर्स ऑन इशूज दैट वर रिलेटेड टू दैम एंड वी क्रिएटेड लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरक्टिव यू नो गेम्स विद दैम सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमें बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग चीज़ करते हैं बिकॉज अगेन कॉन्टेक्स की मैं बात करता हूँ वी हम एक एक्सपेरिमेंट करते थे जिसमें दो बैग्स लेके जाते थे एक में दूध होता था और एक के अंदर हम दूध पानी बिस्किट सारा कुछ मिक्स करके ना तो दोनों बैग्स आर आर पीपल वुड होल्ड एंड एक दफ़ा हम करके कहते थे कि जी अच्छा कौन सा दूध आप ये कौन सा कौन सी चीज़ अपने बच्चे को दें तो कहते दूध तो हम कहते ये चीज़ आप दे रहे हैं because our research shows that you are feeding this to your child and this is what the stomach kyun nahi bilate the maa ka doodh mein koi issue kehte hain so one um do teen cheeze hain ek jo aspect hai because maa ki apni health compromised hai hmm. so sometimes they were not physically able to feed their child hmm. number two agar aap aurat ka context dekhein to she has to take care of her kids hmm. her in-laws the livestock at home hmm. and support her husband and then still be you know on top of everything else mm. um so wo ki dafa physically she didn't have the time mm. and ki dafa ye hota tha ki they didn't know so for example um and i don't uh, you know we're going into a a, a complete mother child health program mm. but cheez isliye important hai ki ab maa ka pehla doodh usko colostrum kehte hain mm. and it's called golden milk bhai yeah. in our studies in balochistan and sind jahan pe stunting ka rate actually 50% hai wahan pe ye pata chala ki 50% of mothers waste that milk that Achha. first milk because they believe ki ye doodh kharab hai ab ye jo myths hai around this behavior mm. is actually you're losing this great potential to give and uske andar antibiotic har cheez usme hai mm. for a child to survive they don't need anything else bilkul as we had another guest once who told us ke honey khilate na bachcho ko right, that is right, really right. dangerous for them aur wohi hote na totke humne yahan pe apne banaye hue hain and the sort of concerns and causes uh, that come from it as a maa ka doodh by the way main itna sawal isliye puchta tha maine maa ka doodh nahi piya hua right. so i was thinking kitne disadvantage pe hain kitna right. stunted hai right, right. where are we talking 50% 40% <laughs> जहां पे और चीजें अवेलेबल कई दफा नहीं होती बिल्कुल तो वहां पर यह चीजें बड़ी मैटर करती है बट इंटरेस्टिंगली लॉन्ग स्टोरी शोर्ट मैं जरा फॉरवर्ड करता हूँ वट हैपन वॉज की हमने पूरा प्रोग्राम डिजाइन किया अच्छा इसमें दो चीजें बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग बताता हूँ जो हमने रिसर्च की एंड वो जो कंटेक्चुअल बिहेवियर डिजाइन की बात हो रही है तो पता चला कि जी इन इन दिस कम्युनिटी दे दे वॉच अलॉट ऑफ बॉलीवुड कंटेंट एंड उस एंड वन ऑफ देयर फेवरेट एक्टर्स वाज माधुरी ठीक है एंड वी इट केम अप इन ऑन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशंस एंड मजे की बात यह है कि लॉट ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटी रिसर्च वी डू दे खातन ये कहती हैं कि हम शहरी दिखना चाहते हैं बनना नहीं चाहते and what that means is that they like the way uh, shady women are dressed their clothing their mm-hmm. attire but they don't like the values they believe that people living in urban spaces have you know and they're not wrong with it not wrong in that way good uh, yeah, analysis yeah, exactly huh? exactly so acha ab humne kaha yaar how do we bring this so that there is some aspirational side to the work we do mm. and so eventually the content we created and a lot of the visual artwork 
uske andar the characters we designed had features of madhuri in it mm. we never told them but when we tested it out there was a natural connection who kehte hain ha is tarah ka dikhna chahte hain is tarah banna chahte hain aur phir aur hamari us project ka us campaign ka naam tha misali maa because we want to celebrate mothers ki yaar ye maaye pehle bahut kuch kar rahi hain to let's acknowledge them and then let's see how we make it easy for them to behavior change mein ek aur jo bada important element hai agar very simple agar aap dekhein to wo kehte hain ki bj fog ek stanford ka professor hai jiski ek map theory hai and by the way his theory he's he's a director at the persuasive lab at stanford his model is being applied by every to- uh, technology company there and his model basically says ke behavior is a function of motivation ability and prompt prompt ka kya matlab hai so prompt is a trigger Take is reminding is nudging people at the right time around the behavior that needs to be done ability is about ke aapne aasani kaise paida karni hai how do you make it easy for someone for something to do it wohi jo maine friction ki baat ki ke aapne koi behavior chutwana hai to mushkil bana de koi cheez aasan ab dekhiye na waste ki baat karte hain yaar kooda har jagah hai uski sabse badi wajah ye hai waste bhi nahi kabhi nahi milegi jab aapne khud aake chal ke jana hai to chal ke jana hai to aap kehte hain yaar idhar hi kahi kar do aur motivation hai ye hai ke yaar how do you create the right rewards and incentives for people to keep doing it um by the way humne iska ek localized version banaya because jab hum apne frontline workers ko kehte hain yaar ab jab logon ke paas jaye to you need to understand this and apply this yourself so that you can convince other people to do it to humne iska ek model local jo banaya uska naam tha kahani asani yaad dehani theek hai so kahani was the part where you talked about motivation inspiring people uh, the asani part was about easiness mm. how do you create that and yaad dehani was reminding people mm. and this became like our go to formula jis pe humne kai hazar logon ko train ki hai on this concept of how to start conversations this way and how to bring people into this mm. all right the last the good part about this entire intervention mm. we did this 8 9 months back we went back to these communities and humne koi um and again it wasn't intentional but humne koi 11000 maon ke paas dobara gaye and this technique that we used which is just mis- we call it story circles it's the most significant change technique jiske andar humne sari maon ko bithaya aur unse ka ek change story shared with us pichle 8 mahine program was wrapped up what difference or what behavior have you kept doing um since the last 8 months and what was fascinating was that 90% of those mothers were able to claim one behavior that they continued to do theek hai chahe wo breastfeeding hai chahe hand washing hai chahe supplement diet it became a habit over over time acha behavior mein bhi ye kehte hain ki agar aap 60 actually up to precisely 66 days kehte hain to 90 days agar aap ek behavior consistently kar sake to wo ek from an old from 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 a practice to a habit convert ho jati hai mm. so it becomes like second nature by that time and what was most remarkable about this research that we did was a qualitative study uh we ended up doing the world's largest story gathering exercise hmm. we didn't realize that that wasn't mm. the intention but 11000 logon ke sath sitting them getting their stories the mm. most you know a significant change so that was i think that was a very big thing or that also showed two or three things one कि अगर आप काम इंटेंशनल करें एंड इफ़ यू री डिज़ाइन इट विद द कम्यूनिटीज़ विद द कॉन्टेक्स एंड यू कीप एट इट होता ये है कि कई दफ़ा बहुत अच्छे प्रोग्राम्स ऑन पेपर डिज़ाइन होते हैं and we leave it on there it's on and things don't happen you have to stay with it and agar aap wo change bhi dekhe to change tab aati hai jab aap continuously uske sath lage rehte hain bilkul mera ek isme sawal hai that i was wondering Who, how do you design these things? और आपकी टीम की कॉम्पोजिशन क्या है मतलब मैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने वाइट रेस में जॉब करनी है टू बी साइकोलॉजिस्ट डिजाइनर वीडियो वीडियोग्राफर मतलब बंदा कौन है आपके पास ऑल ऑफ दी बब अच्छा सो वीव गॉट देखें एक तरफ यू गॉट रिसर्च पीपल सो दीज आर पीपल हु कम फ्राम सोशल साइंसिस एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बिहेवियर साइंस के साइड से सो इट्स इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ पीपल बट पीपल हु रियली अंडरस्टैंड एथनोग्राफिक स्टडीज हु नो हाउ टू गो इन टू द कम्यूनिटीज स्पेंड टाइम विद दैम बींग कम्फर्टेबल बींग देयर हमने हम स्टडीज करते हैं तो पूरा पूरा दिन हमारी रिसर्च अस्टिंग देर और मजे की बात यह कई दफ़ा people from islamabad even or 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 urban spaces wo bhi community mein ja ke there's a barrier to entry because hum wo language or context bilkul, nahi samajhte bilkul so we have to really get local people jinko phir hum apne methodologies ke upar you know we orient them and then they go in and they capture that and it's a lot of visual data mm. once that happens phir hamare paas puri phir we got strategic teams jo strategies create karti hain on top of that those convert those insights into you know 
کمیونیکیشن پروڈکٹس اور اس کے اندر پھر پورا کریٹو ریلم آ جاتا ہے جس کے اندر یو گین ویڈیو گرافرز اینیمیٹرز ڈیزائنرز آل دوز ٹائپ آف پیپل ایڈورٹائزنگ سویٹ دیٹ کمس ود ود سم ڈیپتھ آف انڈرسٹینڈنگ وین کمس ٹو ہیومن سائیکالوجی اینڈ ہیومن بہیویئر اینڈ ہاؤ پیپل فنکشن بٹ دین آن ٹاپ آف دیٹ آئی تھنک اگر آپ دیکھیں تو اس کا جو کور ہے اس کے اندر دیر از دس ریگر آف بہیویئر سائنس جس کو ہم لے کے آتے ہیں ڈیزائن تھنکنگ جس کو لے کے آتے ہیں اینڈ کریٹیوٹی اٹ سیلف یو نو انڈرسٹینڈنگ دیٹ that side of things or is ki badi achhi example ye hai ki aap dekhenge ogilvy hai so ogilvy is a creative you know studio it, it does an advertising company hai but then there's ogilvy consulting hmm. and ogilvy consulting is a company run by rory sutherland jo bada popular hai as a practitioner yeah, yeah. and that is a completely designed it's a design company behavior it's actually a behavior design company in a way because they use creativity but they bring in a lot of behavior science into into work so بٹ دے آر ناٹ دا ریگولر اوگلوی ورک ایز ویل رائٹ سو سو ان کا فنکشن بڑا ڈفرنٹ ہے اور میں اس طرح سے کہتا ہوں ان کو کہ دیکھیں ایڈورٹائزنگ ایک ون ٹائم بہیویئر آپ نے کسی چیز کی سیل بڑھانی ہے کچھ ایک انٹروینشن کرنا ہے بہیویئر ڈیزائن کا جو کام ہے وہ ہے لانگ ٹرم چینج کہ ہاؤ ڈو یو گیٹ پیپل ٹو ریلی این اڈیپٹ بہیویئر آر اے ویری ڈفیکلٹ ٹو ڈو ٹھیک ہے ہم کہتے ہیں یار ہاتھ دھونا بہت ضروری ہے بٹ یو نو اگین وین ایف یو لک ان اور سیٹ ان آر اون سیٹنگس تو کئی دفعہ کھانے سے پہلے ول مس واشنگ ہینڈس بٹ ہینڈ سینیٹائزر فار ایگزامپل بینگ دیئر ہیز ایز ان دی ایبلٹی جسٹ بیکاز اٹس دیئر آپ فور فٹافٹ وہ کر لیتے ہیں سو دس تھنگس لائک دیز دیٹ آئی تھنک گو ان ٹو دیٹ دیٹ ریلم آف دیٹ اسٹڈی اینڈ آئی تھنک خیر اس پہ میں سوال تو اور ہیں میرے پاس لیکن آئی وانٹ ٹیک ٹو مچ آف یور ٹائم آن دس پرٹیکولر ٹاپک بیکاز آئی وانٹ ٹاک ٹو اباؤٹ ون لاسٹ تھنگ یو سیٹ یو آر لیڈرشپ کوچ ٹیل اس لیل پر بات ہے سو آئی تھنک اگین سر تھوڑا سا کانٹیکس بتاتا ہوں سو آئی ہیو بین این آنٹرپینیور بین اے فاؤنڈر برانڈ کمپنیز فار ٹوئنٹی ون And so I've seen that entrepreneurial journey. Plus, I've been in this design space. So I've seen the power of design, creativity, how much power is. Um, and, and, you know, when I read a book, I read the design of everyday things, Dan Norman. Ki. And that fascinated me because what it told me was that everything is design. Hmm. Either you're designing it or someone else is designing it. But this table, this mic, these clothes we wear, everything has a design side to it. Mm. But if it's utility function, if it's user-centered, it can actually create a lot of functionality. And I think that's what, what Steve Jobs was able to see. He saw technology, but more than technology, he was a designer who could see the application of that technology. I don't think he forgot that when he went to Toshiba, I think he was going to tour him. And there was a lab that was very fascinated with him. He said, look, I made so many things in one GB memory stick. سٹیو جابس اس کو دیکھ کے مسکرا پڑا تو اینڈ دے ڈنٹ نو اتی اپلیکیشن اس نے کہا میں نے انویٹ کر دیے اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ میٹنگ ٹوشیبا کے ساتھ اس نے ایک یو نو ایک کانٹریکٹ سائن کیا سول کانٹریکٹ جسٹ ٹو سپلائی ٹو دیم فار آئی ڈونٹ گاڈ نوز ہاؤ مینی ایئرس بیکاز ہی کوڈ سی دس واز این آئی پوڈ ہی کوڈ سی وے دس از گوئنگ وے دے کوڈنٹ کنیکٹ دا ڈاٹس اینڈ دیٹس دا پاور آف انڈرسٹینڈنگ ڈیزائن سو بینگ تھرو دیٹ میرے لیے آئی تھنک دا تھنگ آئی ریئلائز دا موسٹ از دیٹ جہاں کمی آتی ہے ویئر اینڈ لک بینگ ان پاکستان کہ ہم بہت اچھی کمپنی اسٹارٹ کر دیتے ہیں انیشیٹو اسٹارٹ کر دیتے ہیں بٹ دوز تھنگس ڈونٹ گرو آؤٹ آف ون پرسن اور اور ایف دیٹ ون پرسن گوز اے وے دی انٹائر انسٹیٹیوشن فالس اینڈ دیٹ از ویئر آئی تھنک ایون سنس مائی چائلڈ ہڈ سم ہاؤ از فیسنیٹیڈ بائی پیپلس بایوگرافیز میں ویڈیوز میں بیٹھ کے دیکھ رہا ہوتا تھا بکس میں پڑھتا تھا آٹو بایوگرافی آٹو بایوگرافی پڑھی ہوئی پڑھی ہوئی ہے یو نو اینڈ دیر از دس انہیرٹ انٹرسٹ کیا وٹ میڈ دس پرسن یو نو وائی ڈڈ دے تھنک دس وے وائی ور دے ڈفرینٹ اینڈ آئی تھنک اٹ ریئلی کمز ڈاؤن ٹو فار می لیڈرشپ اینڈ دی ایبلٹی ٹو انویژن سم تھنگ اینڈ گیلونائز پیپل اینڈ گیدر پیپل ٹو ٹو لیڈ ٹو گو ٹو ورڈس دیٹ بگر ویژن And but do you think that can be taught is my question. I, so so uh, I think you can learn it. Okay. Not you, it can't be taught. I think you have to learn it on the go. And mujhe jo duk hai na sabse zyada wo ye hai ke hum logon ko ek certain role mein envision karte hain ki yaar one day hum is, you know let's say it's a good coder aur mm-hmm. coder aaya badi achhi coding karta hai kal ko aapne char bande uske niche de diye. Mm-hmm. Aur ho gaya phir kal ko art de diye kal ko aapne usko grow karte gaye. اب وہ اپنی اسکل میں شاید بہت زبردست ہے لیکن واٹ از ریلی ریکوائرڈ از ناٹ فار ہم ٹو کوڈ وین ہی ہیز ٹین اور ففٹین پیپل انڈر ہیم لیڈ از ٹو لیڈ اینڈ دیٹ از نیور اینڈ آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ یوز دا ورڈ ٹاٹ بٹ دیٹ از یو نیور میک دیم انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ لیڈرشپ مینس اینڈ لیڈرشپ از اے جرنی 
mm-hmm. you become leader over time it doesn't happen overnight and wahan pe i feel that that is where the role of coaching comes into play so what does a coach do and it's a very interesting question because when i have these conversations in pakistan it's obviously a new thing abhi tak bhi i think coaching is generally referred in the in the sports arena mm-hmm. but agar aap sports arena ko bhi dekhein to coach ka kaam kya hai um if you look at roger federer someone asked me this question that you know and i think ye, it's a very popular statement mm. uh, even made by eric schmidt uska bhi coach tha bada zabardast i'll tell you about him was that i am the best at my game why do i need a coach and the point is that the coach is not going to play tennis with you is not teaching you tennis but is actually helping you discipline to be the best of best version of yourself theek mm. hai so basically coach ka kya kaam hai ki wo aapko push karta hai वो आपको इंस्पायर करता है वो आपको पैट ऑफ द बैक देता है जब हर बंदा आपको कहता है यू गोन फेल यू नॉट गोन बी सक्सेसफुल बाई दिज अ वेरी गुड सीरीज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स कॉल प्ले बुक एंड यू कैन सी द पावर ऑफ कोचिंग बात काट रहा हूँ बट यूर पॉइंट आई सॉ दिस पॉडकास्ट एक्चुअली with uh, the guy who trained जॉर्डन एंड द गाई ट्रेन कोबी राइट एंड ही वुड टॉक अबाउट हाउ so he trained jordan kobe and no one else mm. uh, everyone else would eventually quit his right, uh, right, regime right, right. but he was like look there is some science to this right, right? because right, he right. i mean who's the best player of all time michael jordan who's the second best player of all time arguably kobe right, right so right. so there was a, uh, a a coaching or a plan that he yeah. followed like in in pakistan are you coaching founders are you coaching teams are you coaching middle management and then how do you how do you pursue this uh, right. how does it work right okay so so in a way um, all of them in a way because everyone needs to be coached mm-hmm. and a coaching ye nahi hai ke you know just sort of kehte na you seek therapy if there's a problem mm-hmm. how like you should be seeking therapy mm-hmm. when everything's going right because you need to understand yourself better and coaching is similar when you're at the top of your game the question is how do you stay there and how do you become okay ek kisi coach ne bade zabardast baat ki thi ki your biggest rival is yourself mm. because when you set the benchmark then you need you're competing against yourself bilkul and the question is what will it take for you to to do that so mere so maine jab coaching start ki and again i i formally entered this profession it was an overnight ke maine kaha ji aaj main coaching ka how do you formally ke. enter so so basically you need to go through certain types of coursework there are, there are global programs i am part of a coactive community so there's a coaching program it's actually one of the oldest it's 25 mm. years old it's called uh, coactive training uh, institute so टी आई के नाम से एंड उनका एक फॉर्मल कोर्स वर्क होता है जो हंड्रेड आवर्स का होता है उसके बाद देन यू हैव टू डू हंड्रेड आवर्स अ पेड कोचिंग विद अ मेंटर एंड देन यू हैव टू गेट सर्टिफाइड बाई आई सी एफ इंटरनेशनल कोचिंग फेडरेशन एंड दैट्स जस्ट द स्टार्ट बट वट इट डज इज दैट इट इट अलाउज यू टू कम टू टू द टेबल वेर यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू नीड टू कोच सम वन एंड वट्स द जर्नी दैट इट टेक्स टू टेक सम वन बिकॉज इसमें एक बड़ा ये कन्फ्यूजन है कि कोचिंग कंसल्टिंग एडवाइजरी टिपिकली अभी तक जो लोग कोचिंग को समझते हैं वो कंसल्टिंग मेंटरिंग की रेल में है सो वट विल हैपन इज कि मैं आपको कोच कर रहा हूँ और मैं सडनली आपको एडवाइस भी देना शुरू कर दूंगा एंड आल से यार शायन यू शूडन डू दिस आपको एक्चुअली ये करना चाहिए दैट्स नॉट कोचिंग कोचिंग इन एसेंस इज आस्किंग यू ग्रेट क्वेश्चन इज रियली लिसनिंग इन टू द कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड फीलिंग एंड थिंकिंग एंड सींग वेयर शायन इज इन गोइंग Mm-hmm. what how do i make him open up how do i make him reflect about the decisions he's making and what or the decisions he's about to make and to also hold you accountable for the things that you're doing and accountable in a in a good way ke ji kal ko matlab you know you, you commit to something who's there to say ke shayan you know how are things mm-hmm. going kahan pe nahi ho raha acha and having those conversations all right you know you tried this let's try this next time let's try something else and constantly giving you a pat at your back मैं ऑनेस्टली समझता हूँ शायन कि अपनी ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स के करियर में आई हैव बीन यू नो प्लेस टू हैव अमेजिंग मेंटर्स एंड इवन सम फॉर्म ऑफ कोचिंग इन माई लाइफ बट आई ऑनेस्टली फील इन माई डार्केस्ट टाइम्स वन आई वॉज अ लोन देर वॉज नो वन विथ मी एंड इफ देर वॉज सम वन जिसने सिर्फ शायद इतनी बात कह देता कि यार राहील यू कैन डू इट यू डन इट बिफोर एंड आई नो यू कैन डू इट सम वन हुड बिलीव इन से दैट आई टू आई आई थिंक माई आई वुड बी ऑन कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्री and i think that's the power of coaching so the people i work with i work with institutions i work with a couple of companies because what i've also realized is that coaching one person doesn't change everything mm. you need to co- coach the system so that top person and the person and the team after that agar aap un sab ki game 
ऊपर कर दें दैन यू आर रियली टॉकिंग अबाउट अ नेक्स्ट लेवल टीम ऑल टूगेदर एंड आई रियली वॉन्ट गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल एंड आई वुड आस्ट यू नो योर योर सब्सक्राइबर्स टू रियली लुक इन टू दिस सो दिस अ गाय कॉल बिल कैम्बल एंड इसके ऊपर एक किताब बाद में अभी पब्लिश हुई है एंड एरिक शमिर जो गूगल का एक्स सी ओ था ही रोट दिस बुक विद अ कपल ऑफ अदर पीपल एंड इट्स कॉल द ट्रिलियन डॉलर कोच एंड दिस गाय वॉज द कोच फॉर अ हंड्रेड टॉप technology firms in silicon valley acha he was a coach of steve jobs no one knows this he was a coach of jeff bezos Achha. eric schmidt um uh, larry page you name these big names mm-hmm. and he was their coach aur mazi ki baat ye hai ki wo ek waqt mein google ke top team ko bhi coach kar raha tha aur Microsoft, apple ki team ko coach apple. kar raha hai aur mm-hmm. you know unko competitors ko coach kar steve jobs ladta tha uske sath ki yaar tum kyu ye kar rahe ho you know mm-hmm. and he said dekho i don't know anything about technology and i will i will, i can even tell mm. if you even tell me something i will lose half of it when i go mm. there but my job is really to push the other person to become the best version of themselves and uske upar apne puri kitab likhi hai and it's very, the book called it's the trillion dollar coach the trillion dollar coach because it's about the science behind how this person created a movement behind the scene and he's called a trillion dollar coach because agar ye shayad na hota to mm. so all these top people there might not have been who they are uh big big for multiple reasons so i think in in essence coaching really helps you along the journey hmm. and it's not a one time affair ye koi workshop ya training nahi hoti jahan pe aap ek cheez seekh ke aate hain aur wapas ab environment mein aate hain aadhi cheeze bhool chuke hote hain waise bhi you know the training recall rate is very low after wo kehte hain after 72 hours you've already lost 80% of what hmm. you learned in the training hmm. but that's the power of coaching okay you know you it's, it's again, continuous. continuous and it's problem specific it's challenge specific so and, do uh, do organizations have you on a sort of consultant role or so some some are retainers okay. um some are i've got individual clients both in pakistan outside of pakistan and there are people from the creative industry there are people from um from 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 some some people from the startup community as well some from good organizations c suite mm-hmm. uh, but unfortunately what i what sad is that a lot of these people are just paying are still working from their pocket mm-hmm. um organizations don't recognize this mm-hmm. i still know some some places jahan pe wo jab coaching karte bhi hain to wo training ke budget ke under aa raha hota hai doesn't it's not even called coaching mm-hmm. because people are shy especially if you are a female executive mm-hmm. because pehle aap ek disadvantage mein hain mm-hmm. being at a higher position and it's, it's a sign of weakness mm-hmm. ki yaar ye dekhen you need a coach now so no. there must something must be wrong you know you need to be fixed or whatever and that's the sad part but the good side is that i think things are picking up there is this conversation and i know a bahut sare top ceos pakistan mein nahi they're getting coach most of them are getting coached abro- abroad but there are people who are entering this space more co- in a qualified fashion mm. and i think that's very important that the industry really needs people who understand this this space or sometimes you know you you as a coach you get into situations where if you don't have the right training behind it um you you can actually upset things mm. and a very simple i think an again analogy yahan pe bahut samjhane ke liye ki if you look at therapy because he bhi bada confusion hota hai ki therapy aur coaching mein kya farak hai therapy is the past right so you're really looking at issues that have been unresolved and resolving that coaching is future mm. ki yeah this is where we are mere 5 saal baad 10 saal baad 20 saal baad yahan jana hai mm. how do i go there and what what it what it needs what are the steps what to are take? the steps taken and that inner reflection and and i think coaching is a it's an inner journey aap apne aap ko samajhte hain apni strengths ko samajhte hain apne values ko samajhte hain you start really really understanding and being with yourself hmm. which then says ki yaar acha this is what i really am good at these are my strengths am i playing on my strengths or not ab you know leadership ko bhi dekhein to ab wo jo ek tha na concept ke leadership is about aap apni strengths aur weaknesses dono ko improve karte hain ab the best leaderships programs say that forget about your weaknesses focus on your focus strengths. on your strengths and become so good at your strengths that mm. you have someone else to deal with your weaknesses 100% and but hum yahan kehte yaar aap ye theek nahi hai ye pehle theek kare na in fact a lot of people yahan pe pakistan mein sabse bada aur maine ye kafi notice bhi kiya hai uh, with employees with people in general uh, they think the best thing they can do is focus on their weaknesses right. and make convert those weaknesses into their strengths aur main unko yahi keh raha hu dekho I'm built a certain way you're built a certain way. Welcome. I'm not going to necessarily be good at what you're good mm-hmm. at. You're not necessarily going to be good at what I'm good at. Right. right. Why do we need to as in why jab koi for example a lot of people told me this all right so aapke weaknesses hain aap inko better karein. Maine ye keh raha hu dekho I mean 
that i feel like is a waste of effort yeah. Uh, yeah. it is because you're you're focusing on things that you're never but for example i am horrible with numbers right 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 i am not a cfo likewise yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i'm never going to be a yeah. cfo yeah, uh, yeah. मैं अकाउंटिंग कॉलेज में फेल हुआ था और आज भी आई एम श्योर अगर अकाउंटिंग पढ़ने जाऊँ तो फेल होगा अब मैं इसमें क्यों पढूं बिल्कुल एक चीज है नहीं आती ना यार right, नहीं समझ आती right, right. अब छोड़ दो एक्जैक्टली एंड इट्स रिफ्रेशिंग टू सी के देर इज सम एटलीस्ट सम पीपल हुर टेकिंग नोटिस ऑफ दिस इज इट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस आई देखिए स्टिकमा है hmm. वो तो मुझे समझ आ गई थेरेपी पे स्टिकमा है तो इस पर तो उससे भी ज्यादा स्टिकमा होगी बिकॉज एज एनो लीडर ऑफ मैन यू मस्ट बी All knowing and all whatever yeah, nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, लेकिन मेरा सवाल ये कि इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में और इन चीज़ों में वाई डिड यू डिसाइड टू गेट इन टू दिस फील्ड राइट सो यू डूइंग द होल बिहेवियर ऑल डिजाइन थिंग अलहमदिल्ला गोइंग वेल वाई स्टेप आउट आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड आई थिंक ऑल माई लाइफ में मेरी इम्पैक्ट और क्रिएटिंग चेंज हैज ऑलवेज बीन बिग ऑन माई एजेंडा um i think i've i've always believed that money is a by product of something mm. it's never the end game or um to paise banane hote the main bahut sare aur kaam kar sakta tha and i think i've played my role in bringing white rice to a certain level um i've got a great team jinko you know who've uh, who've really taken taken on the on the on the lead role now and mera kaam has really become now in terms of guiding and coaching them mm. and and helping them become better versions of themselves and i think 2020 mera mujhe with covid and all this happening and i turned 40 i had this deep realization ki yaar what do i really want to do now and what do i want to do agle 10 saal mein koi cheez where do i really want to create impact um and that's what i felt ki yaar how do i create individual change um and rather than looking at okay i'm working with these communities hum ye sara kaam bada zabardast kar rahe hain but again these programs are funded by organizations they have a they have a life of their own But if I believe that मैं अगर एक हज़ार लोगों को individually in the next टेन years if I can touch them in somewhere or the other through a powerful conversation and I say this changing lives one conversation at a time hmm. I feel that ये हज़ार लोग या सो लोग या whatever the number comes down to can become a ripple effect for others and that is what I feel my legacy is all about now so at this point in time I feel के things that i may wish karta tha yaar mere paas 10 saal mm. pehle is tarah ka banda hota ya is tarah ki soch hoti um and is even you know if you look at neuroplasticity and and the and the science behind um how your brain functions positivity has a big role mm. you know negativity creates negative vibes in the in the system and that just attracts negativity Bilkul. and neuroplasticity ab ye kehti hai ki agar aap positive thinking ke sath uthte hain to aapki brain waves start changing your your pathways start changing and that is what i feel coaching can do ki if this one person who believes in you and every time you have a conversation there's someone who can appreciate and someone mm. can say yaar you can do this and let's let's talk about what the issue is and you and and mazik baat ye shan i don't have the answers mm. as a coach you don't have the answers but you help the other p- person find the answers because you're giving a safe space to explore themselves to become vulnerable mm. or wo open ho ke baat kar sake so mere i think mere liye ab jo as, as a as this part of my life where i really want to contribute in in a way give back as well is to work with individuals and work with them over a long period of time so that when i leave them they're one in a much better place and they're 10x their career like agar wo ye sochte the ki yaar main ye achieve kar sakta hu to mera question hota hai ki what will it take to achieve 10 times more mm-hmm. and let's work on that because as humans we thrive on challenge but aap mujhe de de yaar ek baseline goal de de i will not be inspired Bilkul. but main kahunga yaar you know this we need to reach the the, yeah. the moon and it just changes the conversation acha aap kya and uske liye aap incrementally sochenge आप डिस्ट्रप्टिव होकर सोचेंगे आप कहेंगे यार अच्छा ये इस तरह तो नहीं जा सकते वट एल्स डज नीड्स टू हैपन एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वे रियल कॉन्वर्सेशन हैपन दैट्स वे यू ब्रेक आउट ऑफ योर कम्फर्ट जोन इन आप यू नो यू स्टार्ट थिंग अबाउट बिगर थिंग्स एक्चुअली वेरी इंसाइटफुल एंड I mean, I feel like I've learned a lot, and I have. Can I have a lot more questions? But I'm not going to ask those questions at least on the podcast. I'll ask them uh, personally after. Maybe I'll hire you again. But in fact, it was a pleasure to have you on the podcast. Yeah, um, I learned a lot, and hopefully, you guys learned something as well. Um, if you do like our content, please do subscribe to our channel, and we will see you for the next podcast. <laughs>